Bionic. Information. Quiet, not only for you as a driver or passenger, but also for others in the neighbourhood or community you're driving through, is one of the upsides of a fully electric car, like our second-hand Ionic Electric. But what does an Ionic Electric sound like anyway? What does an electric car sound like from the outside? In this video, we'll hear it at 15, 30 and 50 miles an hour. Then we'll also hear some non-electric cars for comparison on the same piece of road. When you look under the Ionix hood or bonnet, like most electric cars that aren't Teslas, you find something that looks quite like a petrol or diesel engine bay. But what we're looking at here is not an engine. There's an onboard charger, an inverter, and underneath is an electric motor. A very hard to see one in our Ionic. Fully electric cars don't combust anything, so you don't need an exhaust or tailpipe either. So there's no recording the sound of rev time from a tailpipe of an electric car. You also cannot rev the motor when not in motion to hear its sound. Software makes that impossible. The car does have a virtual engine sound system, or VESS, emitting a droning sound from a speaker at low speeds up to about 19 or 20 miles per hour in the Ionic. The manual for the Ionic says it's there for other road users' safety, quote, because there is no sound while the electric vehicle is operating. You can turn it off in the UK models. The electric motor does make sound, though, here it is at low speeds from a mic placed in our Ionix engine bay. It's a high pitched sound, but it isn't loud and certainly not as loud as the dog barking while I was trying to record it, for example. You can also hear the motor from when you're inside the cabin, mainly when you accelerate hard. The car generates road noises too, from tyre contact with the road and from passing through the air. But what sound does it make and how noisy is it from outside for other people? Well, here it is passing us on a slightly wet road, fairly close to the camera, at 15 miles an hour. First with VESS on, then with it off. Now this is the Ionic passing us again, a bit farther away, wet road again at 30 miles per hour. And now 50 miles per hour. Here it is again at 30 miles per hour with some non-electric vehicles passing too. For comparison, here are some more non-electric vehicles on their own on the same wet road. All of these were recorded in a valley with lots of kind of space for the sound to travel, so that's not ideal, but it does give you the idea that the electric car is, is quieter than the, the non-electric cars here. An electric car also obviously makes no sound at all while idling from the outside, which is something you can't say for non-electric cars. Some of those can be really quite sort of unpleasant and obtrusive um, from the outside, separate from the whole emissions thing, but you know, from a sound and vibration point of view purely. Now ideally what I'd like to do is to have some proper objective sound recording equipment and record a convoy of electric cars coming past, then some mixed petrol cars in a convoy, then some diesel cars, then some buses, then some trucks, and maybe you could have some onlookers, some bystanders there to give their subjective impressions of the just comparative levels of noise as well too. Now I'm not sure that anybody has actually done that. If they have, please let me know online where there's a video of that. I, I think that Nissan did something staged with some Leafs at night racing around a village in, in reasonable quiet, but it, it's not the same thing as getting the sense of, you know, a group of electric cars en masse going down a road and what noise and vibration that makes, and then, you know, uh, petrol and diesel cars and trucks and buses and things doing the same thing. I, I'd really be interested, it's not that easy to do. I think, you know, doing this video has shown me that it's quite difficult to get, you know, to convey the, the subjective impressions of being there um, without, you know, meters and sound equipment. But it would be useful to see, you know, and to hear 
what is the difference between a group of vehicles in a community that are electric and a group of vehicles in a community that are non-electric? You know, how much difference does it really make when it's, you're talking about a lot of vehicles in a group so you could get a sense of the sort of transition you'd get if it was all, all electric cars in one particular area? So I hope you enjoyed this little test, uh, this little subjective test of what the Ionic Electric sounds like from the outside at different speeds. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and bye now.